So let's say I have to merge these two table into the one table. But here is the catch. If you see the sequence of their header is quite different. In the table one, the sequence is ticket ID, name, closing date, and then the total hours. But in the table two, the headers are like ticket ID, total hours, name, and then the closing date. In the final table, I need the data based on this particular sequence where First, it is having a ticket ID and then name, then closing date and then total hours. Hi everyone, welcome to Excel Dose. My name is Vishal and in today's video, I will show you that how you can merge two table into the one which are having a different sequence of their headers. So now let's get started with the video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to our channel. Now let's move to the solution. First, we have to mention all these ticket IDs in this particular table. For that, we have to simply copy this ticket ID and paste it one by one. To get the corresponding data against this ticket ID, we need to use here the XLOOKUP. I will simply type here XLOOKUP. Here the first argument is search key. In our case, the search key is this ticket ID. So I will select this ticket ID. First, we'll log this cell. And then the next argument here is the lookup range. So we are looking in this particular range of table one. Again, we'll log the cell. Now, the next argument here is the result range. For the result range, I will use again XLOOKUP because the table header should be matched, right? So that's the reason we are using XLOOKUP again. Now here, the first argument is search key. So we are looking for this search key in this particular range. First, I will select this cell and again, we'll log the cell and then we'll select the lookup range, which is having a these headers again will log the cell and in the result range we need the this particular data again will log the cell and then simply press the enter button now simply copy the formula and select this complete range and paste it here now you can see we are getting the result based on this particular ticket id now you can see here we are getting the hash and error because this particular ticket id is not found in table one but there could be a chance it is available in the second table. Now we'll use another argument which is a missing value. If it is missing in the first table, then it should be looked into the second table. Again, we'll use here XLOOKUP. Search key is this ticket ID. Now again, we'll lock the cell. And this time the lookup range will be the second table's range. Again, we'll lock the cell. Then result range, we'll again use XLOOKUP search key name again will log the cell and the range lookup range will select this complete range and then we have to give the result range so in the result range i will select this complete range then simply press the enter button now we have to copy this formula select this range and paste it here now we have to simply format this one now you can see we have merged the two table into the one table which are having a sequence in the different format. So this is how you can use the XLOOKUP to merge two table into the one table. I hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe to Excel Dose. Thank you so much for watching.